To begin, I'm using four pieces of 332nd RG45. These are 11 and a half inches long. I'm fuse welding the ends of each set of rods together. Turn it around, fuse the other end, and then do the same to the other two rods. Now that the rods are fuse welded on each end, I can use the pliers and begin forming. Now this will be for the sides of the kayak. And by having them fuse together, then forming them, I can be assured that both sides will be the same. I have cut the rods apart where I had fused them together, and now I am using a 1 16th inch RG45 to gas weld the ends of the deck together. This is for the right and left side or the port and starboard side of the kayak. Using this one inch diameter with the hole in it, I'm using 332nd RG45 to make the circle for the cockpit of the kayak. Using some pieces of 332nd RG45, curving them with a pair of pliers, and then placing them on the deck of the kayak. And now to braise all of this together. As you can see, I'm using blocks of steel to compensate for expansion and contraction so that the deck of the kayak will remain flat. In brazing the ends, I'm brazing the parts together, but I'm also using the brazing rod to fill in gaps so that it is smooth on the ends. Now I've turned the kayak over and I'll be working on the bottom. And now to braze the center line in. And I want to make sure that this is centered. Centered front to back and right to left. Now to braze in the 332nd inch rods, curved rods, that go between the deck line and the keel line. As you can see, to make this just a little bit easier, I've tilted it up between two blocks of steel. And now brazing at the other end and again using the brazing rod to fill in the gaps. With brazing the ends on and filling in the gaps, I can get a good buildup of bronze. Some of that I can smooth out with the torch but some of it will have to be either filed or ground down to a finished end. For the base for the kayak, I'm using two steel washers. These are 5 8 inch steel washers. That means the hole is 5 8 inch and they're about inch and a half in diameter. And I'm drawing a line across here and I'll cut this piece off. Here I'm using a hacksaw. If you've got a faster way, use it. And here's the part I'll be using for the base. Tack brazing this piece onto the other washer. And I do find this a little tricky to get this perfectly centered and then brazing it on both sides. For the paddle, starting off with a piece of copper one half inch wide by an inch and a half. So I want this to be like the one that I have laying here on the right. I'll nip off these corners. What I want here is to round it off, then go down to the end which will go on the shaft. 
Now to smooth this out, I'll use the tube sander or you could use a file. Get it rounded. Now using the mason's chisel in this block of wood, like I sometimes do with copper jewelry, I'm just going to crimp this right in the middle. And here are the two paddle blades, ready to be attached to the paddle handle. For the paddle handle, piece of 332nd RG45, and as you can see, I've flattened it on each end where it will be brazed to the paddle blades, brazing the handle onto the paddle blade, brazing the kayak to the base. For finishing, a wire brush for the brazed and welded joints. A file for taking care of any rough edges. Some rub and buff for gold highlights. And then spraying with a clear lacquer or an aerosol clear acrylic.